My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. The father would run them off. Be gone, precocious child. So, this is the home of Aventus Aretino I've heard so much about. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. So very tired. Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. So very tired. Die, Groa, die! Please, how long must I do this? I can't. You've come at last! I knew you would! Are you all right? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! Really? Is that who you think I am? You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. And what contract would that be? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grelob the Kind. Can I now? Tell me, child, why would I want to kill Grelob? Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften? That really doesn't help me. You know that assassinations don't come cheap. I have a family heirloom you can have. Really? It's supposed to be sort of valuable. I hope that's all right. <laughs> You're very serious about this killing, I see. Tell me more about your mother. What happened? She got sick. Last winter, when the snows came, and she just, she never got better, not all year. One night, she fell asleep and, 
never woke up. So now I'm all alone. And the Jarl said I have to go into Honor Hall Orphanage. It's not fair! So you're sure about this boy murdering this woman? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Broa doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster! <laughs> Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Very well, child. I will accept your contract. All right, Honor Hall Orphanage is in Riften. All right. Here we are in Riften, and here is Honor Hall Orphanage. Let's see what's going on in here. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Growlithe. Yes, Growlithe. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Drell, and thank you, thank you for you your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. This blink attack. Constance. Yes, Grella. This place is filthy. No, I, I can't. Cancel all town privileges unless those brats start pulling their weight. All right, I'll take care of it. Ah, here we are. Is someone there? Someone's here, all right. So, this is the woman that Aventus wanted killed. Someone has killed Grillin! That's right. <laughs> Grillin is dead! Aventus did it! <laughs> Hooray! Grillin the kind is dead at last! We're saved! Yay! Aventus really did it! He got the Dark Brotherhood to kill old Grillin! <laughs> You know, it's really sad that children are cheering on the death of an old woman. We love you, Dark Brotherhood! <laughs> no more! I yield! I yield! Alright, let's see if there's anything here of value. Hmm. A dagger. It's not something that they should have out when children are around. Look, the children, they're asleep already. Mercy. All right, woman, calm down. No one is here for you today.
All right, that was simple enough. Hmm, this must be the playground. All right. Why is there an indication that I need to go back in? Yes, it's time to go and tell Aventus that I fulfilled his contract. Well? Well, of the kind. Is she, you know... <laughs> oh, you're such an impressionable young man. You'll probably have dreams about the mysterious figure that appeared in your home in the form of mist. But you may relax now, for Grilla the Kind is dead. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. It was my pleasure. She did seem rather cruel. All right. But as evil as I'm supposed to be, seeing you living here in squalor with no one to take care of you disturbs me. I think we need to do something about finding you a home or a guardian. Head back to Rollinwood. So who do we have here now? It's good to see you again, Janassa. Pawnall. I really wasn't expecting you to move in. I only summoned you so that I could get some yes. rare ingredients. And here we have our berserker. What do you need? A red guard whom I turned. But, unfortunately, I've lost my ability to control Farewell. him. Usually, victims such as this end up naked and unable to do much of anything. But he's retained his armor, his vampirism. It's just that I can't control him. All right, and we have another vampire for Nilda. It's good to see you. And Shadra, whom I'm awaiting the right moment to take with me on a mission. And Atar. I'm still looking for more pieces of this uh, witch plate armor. Hopefully I'll be able to complete the set before too much longer. <coughs> All right. 
Let me go into town and rent a room. Now that I've baited the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> I suppose solitude will do. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. I didn't want to Out with it. endanger anyone in Rollinwood. So I thought I'd come into town and rent a room. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Thank you. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. That will be all. And I will ready myself for bed. Sleep well? I did, actually. You're a little late, don't you think? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Yes, it is more that can be said. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage? Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. I really don't see that there is a problem. Enlighten me. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. 
I'd watch your tone if I were you. Well now, funny you should ask. I'm not asking. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. I'm sure you do. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. There's just one problem. I don't take orders from you. You dance with death. And worse. Just you really should be careful with whom you kidnap. No position to order me around. None whatsoever, and as far as these people, I'll destroy them all. Now, you should be more careful the next time you try to abduct someone. <laughs> All right, so you want me to kill one of these poor, unfortunate people that you have abducted and brought here. Very well. Who are you? Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. That's interesting. Would someone pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Answer me, or I'll paint this room with your blood. Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Who are you? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Mm. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Tell you what, you release me, and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Well, I know one person that's going to die, and who are you? Get out of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Edmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would sit right in And what about face. you? I... I can hear Who are my you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? I 
don't have time for this nonsense. What did I do? I've got a home to keep and children Please, to feed. Whatever now, it is. Let I'm me sorry. Out. All right, I think I have a katana here somewhere. Out of here! All right, you, with the big mouth, die. <laughs> and you, threatening me, die. <laughs> you were the only one with manners. You may live. All right, Astrid. Hmm. The fearless wife and mother and the underhanded Khajiit. Had to be one of them, right? Interesting choice. So, who was it? Who had the contract? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong, irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to plant some memories of what happens to people that cross me. Are we through here? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, silence my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. <laughs> All right then, Astrid. I suppose I'll... be charitable towards you, allow you to live a little longer. I will see you later. I'm sure you'll dispose of... The survivor. <laughs>